The Vivitro Super Pump is a digitally controlled pulsatile piston pump that creates physiological cardiac flows. The Super Pump is unsurpassed in reliability, functionality, and versatility. The Super Pump is the most widely used and cited pump for creating pulsatile flows. It can be used with Vivitro accessories or independently produced accessories to create reliable flows for any type of cardiovascular device. It is the foundation for the Vivitro Pulse Duplicator, Endovascular Simulator, and Real-Time Wear Tester. Originally designed to replicate ventricular function, the Super Pump can be used to create precise flows for evaluating cardiovascular devices, conducting simulated use testing, other applications requiring physiological flows and pressure. The Vivitro Super Pump provides pulsatile flow from 3 to 200 beats per minute and a displacement volume of up to 180 milliliters per stroke. It can generate an output of up to 15 liters per minute. The Super Pump system is comprised of the Super Pump actuator and controller. The actuator is composed of a ball screw and motor with a digital encoder for position feedback, which precisely controls the piston to replicate ventricular function. An end plate on the front of the cylinder allows mounting of any desired equipment. The actuator is a pre-lubricated sealed system, offering quiet, maintenance-free operation. The controller is the pump's user interface. It stores waveforms and enables users to control the pump's stroke volume and other parameters. The Super Pump can store five waveforms on the controller. Waveforms precisely control the piston position. They enable the pump to be used as a standalone device. Onboard waveforms have both a fixed shape, such as systolic duration and beat rate. The Super Pump can also be driven by an external positive-negative 5-volt analog input from a signal generator or other external hardware. During operation, the controller screen displays the amplitude percentage, stroke volume in milliliters per stroke, selected waveform, cycle count, and sync pulse delay. The amplitude dial is used to adjust the pump stroke volume. Or pause the pump. Once paused, the operator can stop and home the pump or resume operation. The menu dial is used to select from internally stored or external waveforms, adjust sync pulse trigger output delay. This is useful for synchronizing other equipment such as high-speed cameras or data acquisition systems. It can also set the cycle counter. Four BNC connectors provide waveform input from an external source, pump position output, DL over DT, or piston velocity derived from the piston position, which multiplied by the piston area corresponds to the theoretical flow rate, and sync pulse output. Other connections include a USB connector, which is used with Vivigen software to upload new waveforms to the internal memory of the controller, a motor connector, which is used to connect the controller to the super pump actuator. An optional pump head can be used with the super pump to convert the piston motion to circulatory pulsatile flow using an inlet valve and outlet valve. The pump head is composed of a silicone ventricle with an inlet and outlet valve to simulate one half of the heart. The pump head is an adaptable platform for creating custom flow loops that simulate a wide variety of cardiovascular conditions. The silicone ventricle separates the test fluid from the piston seal surface, which allows use with a variety of test fluids Saline, glycerine, sodium iodide, and whole blood are examples of fluids that may be used with the system. The Vitro spring-loaded disc valves come standard with the system. They have a very small closing volume and almost no leakage volume. Most commercially available valves fit in the system using the Vitro standard valve mounting gasket. Waveforms control the piston position with respect to time. The Vitro waveform files are simple text files that contain the waveform shape in 1024 data points. This provides the ability to recreate a healthy or diseased heart waveform. At the simplest level, waveforms can be modeled in Excel, 
The only constraints are that the start and end points be the same and that the peak velocity remains within the system limits of approximately 60 mm per second. Waveforms are uploaded into the Super Pump controller by connecting the Super Pump controller USB port to a PC. Vivigen software is then used to program the controller waveforms. The Waveform In BNC connector can be used to drive the Super Pump when it is in external waveform mode. Waveforms can drive the Super Pump from an external source outputting a positive or negative 5 volt signal. Examples include a waveform generator or the Vivitro I.O. module and Vivitest software. Vivitest software offers the advantages that unlimited waveforms can be selected, and the beat rate for each waveform can be changed quickly. Vivitest software also includes custom waveform creation tools to easily develop complex waveforms and wavetrains. Wavetrains stitch together different waveform files to simulate conditions such as arrhythmia. Waveforms created in Vivitest can be selected and used to drive the super pump directly from the Vivitest user interface. Adding the model heart to the super pump creates the pulse duplicator system with a physiological atrium, ventricle, and arterial outflow. The pulse duplicator system replicates one half of the human heart. The optional viscoelastic impedance adapter, or VIA, works in conjunction with the super pump to produce more realistic physiological ventricular pressures. It consists of a fixed resistive element and two adjustable compliance chambers to mimic the viscoelastic nature of the native ventricle. The VIA is used to tune physiological pressure gradients, DP over DT, to achieve isovolumetric contraction and relaxation, and to reduce non-physiological high-frequency pressure oscillation, or ringing, that is characteristic of non-compliant systems. The super pump can also be used to drive the endovascular simulator to bring physiological pulsatility to anatomical models for research and development. The endovascular simulator tray is a modular platform that accommodates anatomical models for a variety of transcatheter or surgical vascular interventions. It is easily reconfigured for different model sizes and connection types. A single outlet pump head can be used when only the forward and reverse flow of the pump is required. This accessory consists of a silicone ventricle and one outlet barb. No valves are used in the single outlet pump head. The super pump is also the core of the real-time wear tester, or RWT a quasi-real-time wear tester for heart valve replacements, venous valve replacements, occluder devices, and other cardiovascular devices. It can be customized for devices and device mounting arrangements, including conduit mounted valves and large prosthetic heart valves. A change in controller firmware and mounting components adapts the super pump to the real-time wear tester system configuration. The super pump is easy to install and commission. Connect the pump and controller. Connect to the power source. Connect to the model. Fill and prime the system. Select a waveform. Set the stroke volume. Vivitro offers global on-site training, calibration, qualification, and consulting services for the Super Pump Pulsatile Pump. All Vivitro Super Pumps include a two-year warranty with optional extended warranties. Vivitro equipment is designed and manufactured by Starfish Medical. The original Vivitro Super Pump design was developed by Larry Scotton and David Walker in the 1970s. It has been used by cardiovascular pioneers in over 40 countries. 
Read about them in our Cardiovascular Pioneer interview series and find all public research publications citing the super pump at vivitrolabs.com. Interested in learning more? Contact Vivitro Labs for more details and a price quote.